Welcome to this week's tech tip where we'll take a look at an effective method for capping holes or pockets in non-planar 3D surfaces. Many times we're confronted with a situation similar to the example here where the solid model contains holes that exist on a feature that we'd like to finish machine cleanly with the toolpath flowing over the holes while following the curvature of the model. Using surface caps is one way to maintain smooth continuous toolpath that will completely machine this surface without dropping into the hole as it's shown here. As many of you may or may not be aware, there are options within the feature finder that work extremely well when it comes to creating cap features for holes or pockets that exist on flat planar geometry like the ones we see in the current part file. So if we go ahead and open up the feature finder, we can deselect everything but 2D pockets and vertical holes. We can then use the edit buttons for both the mill and hole options and make sure that the checkbox for caps is selected for each, then press OK. Now, when we take a look at the features list, we can see that the system has generated caps for the newly found hole and pocket features. On a model like this one, using the feature finder is a simple and effective method to create caps on planar geometry. Now, if we take a look at this part file again, you can see that the caps we need to generate to cover these holes should ideally follow the curvature of the original geometry. And this is going to present an issue when using the feature finder because the caps generated are flat will not match the curvature of the underlying solid. So the first step in creating 3D caps for holes of this nature is to extract a surface from the solid. If we select the Features tab, click on the Geometry button, the Geometry dialog will open where we can select Surface from the available options. Then select the face to extract and press Done. Now we can see that there is a newly created surface. And if we go to the Layers window, we can turn off the Model layer to isolate the new surface. The next step here is to select the Setup tab, Click on the Edit drop-down and choose to explode the surface so that it extends to its natural untrimmed state. With the surface now exploded, you'll notice that the system has retained the original edge curves, which can help in trimming the new surface for a cap. Now if we select the surface drop-down and choose Trim Surface from the list, we can trim the surface to one of the hole contours by selecting the section of surface that we wish to keep and then choosing the contour that we'd like to trim it to. With the surface now trimmed, it can be used as a cap that is a perfect match to the surrounding geometry. And if we regenerate the finishing toolpath and add this cap surface to our selection, the toolpath now follows the surface cleanly and no longer drops into the hole. As you can see from this example, extracting and trimming a surface is a very effective method for creating caps on non-planar 3D geometry. We hope that you found this tech tip helpful. Until next time, stay productive.